Welcome back to year 13. It is time for the college football playoffs for Cascade Valley. We have got a little bit of a doozy. Now, as a reminder, we still have three major guys we're looking to obviously land in the recruiting. We have landed a ton of people, 19 in total, but we're trying to get this class to 22. And in do so, we're going to have to wait until pretty much after the bowl season. Now, as you just saw, Tyrell Brown is the Heisman Trophy winner. A big shout out to him winning for the second time in his career. Honestly, this dude has got a lot of accolades, right? We saw the 2025 Heisman just now. Here's the 2023 one on the Walter Camp in 23. On the Walter Camp again in 25, the Doak Walker in 25 and 23. This dude, whenever he wins one of those awards, he wins it again. This dude is an absolute legend. You love to see it. Now, from a college football playoff ranking standpoint, we're number one. Boise's number two. Navy, despite being 12 and 0, ends up getting bumped out. If we look at their schedule, you can kind of see why here. They be number 12 SMU, and they are going to end up playing number 20 Texas Tech University in the bowl game. But they didn't really have a very strong schedule. Yes, they beat SMU, who's a pretty solid team. But when you compare who we actually ended up putting in there above them, USC, USC won every single game, including beating number four Michigan in the beginning of the year. Their only loss was at the very end of the season against number four Michigan at the end of the season. Ignore the Clemson thing. It's not really going to be who they're playing. So we will see them in the national title picture. It'll be us versus Michigan. Uh, and then it'll be Boise versus USC. Should be an absolute blender of a game. Before we hop into the game, officially going through some of the All-Americans, we're going to see that Tyrell Brown gets the top half back on her for the All-Americans. Terry May also goes in for the number one center. Uh, Jesse Rivers, the first-time starter, gets it to the left end. Odiari, a right end. Jaron Poe, a defensive tackle. Keyshawn Anderson, a left outside linebacker. Heinrich, at the other left outside linebacker. Gamblin, a middle linebacker. Simmons, Wilson, Lanier, all going in. I love seeing the Michael Lanier. Uh, ends up getting a first-team All-American despite being injured for the last couple games this season. He'll never play again in Cascade Valley, but he was a legend. On the second team, Taylor Reed gets that spot, which you love to see. We see J uh, Jay Bohm and Carnell Killens. I feel like one of those guys maybe could have made first team, but it is what it is. Uh, Savage gets it to the left guard. Wilson gets it to the right guard. We keep moving down here a little bit more. We're going to see that we have Chance around in the corner. We're going to have Reggie Kraft. Surprise, he made it personally. Uh, at free safety, despite all the missed tackles he had. And Evan Shepard, a punter makes it on there as well. I will say I'm disappointed that they gave Joseph Hogan the opportunity to be the best kick returner in the nation first team, and we don't even see Jay Bone be there for second team. The disrespect. On the freshman team, we keep kind of panning through this. Navy did have the top quarterback for the freshman team, but Charles Awara ends up being the number one center on the, uh, the all-freshman team. Uh, we're also going to see uh, a rare ghost walker, whose name I can never say, a defensive tackle. And that is going to be it for what our squad had from the freshman side. But I'm still really proud of how they played. And then the Maxwell Award actually doesn't go to Tyrell Brown or Taylor Reed. We see Tanner Hawthorne end up winning that award. It is what it is. We know who should have won that award. The Walter Camp goes to Tyrell Brown with Reed finishing six. The Bednarik, one through eight Murkowski Valley players. Nine was Western Kentucky. And then 10 was Jaron Post. So we had pretty much the nine out of the top 10. That's kind of insane. Uh, you move on to the Nagurski. It's very similar. Donald Gamblin brings that one home. The O'Brien goes to Hawth Hawthorne over Taylor Reed, which again, you know, 52 total touchdowns. I feel like he had more yards. It is what it is, but things happen. The Doak Walker goes to Tyrell Brown for the second time in his career. Uh, the Bolitnikoff goes to Naeem Johnson, which I wanted to be upset, but he had 27 touchdowns on 1,600 yards and 94 grabs. Carnell Killens had a great year. It was not that great, so we understand. Uh, the Mackie is going to go to Harris out of Hawaii with McBride finishing third in his junior season. The Outland, we're going to see Zenon from Miami. Uh, the Remington goes to our guy, Terry May, the center from Cascade Valley. Had nine pancakes this year, didn't give up a sack. The Lombardi goes to Odiari with Jesse Rivers and Jaron Poe being right behind him. The best linebacker, we had the top three guys, you already know, and Donald Gamblin winning it. The Thorpe goes to Desmond Simmons, the greatest corner in Cascade Valley history. Kind of wild to say with Lanier and Wilson behind him. The Groza, they put no respect on our name. And then the Ray Guy Award, Shepard, close to winning it for the first time in Cascade Valley history. With the best returner for the first time in school history, Jay Bohm, ladies and gentlemen. He did that thing. And then just from an injury standpoint, again, Lanier apparently is questionable to play in this game. So we could potentially see him play in this game. I highly doubt it, but it would be kind of cool if we got to see him play one last college football game. But go get your money in the NFL, big fella. <laughs> For the first time in school history, Cascade Valley is looking to get a four-peat. They've won three national titles in a row. Can they win a fourth? The first rush for Tyro Brown didn't go very well, but you got to imagine a lot of nerves right now are just matriculating around for both teams. 
A throw here for Tyrell Brown and Michael Isaacs. The good news, he holds on to it. Back here to the run game. Looking to be a little bit better than that first carry here. Tyrell Brown got some room. Tyrell Brown moves all the way down the field for a 22-yarder. Big shout out to Joe McBride. Absolutely laying some crazy blocks down the field, opening up those lanes. We're going to obviously miss him. We imagine he's gone after this season, but the dude has been a legend here in his time. Michigan's defense definitely struggling a little bit. Their offense has really been carrying this team so far. But Derek Johnson, though, only a two-yard rush. Underneath center this time for Reed. Sees a guy, throws a dot, and who else but Joe McBride getting into the end zone for the first touchdown of the college football playoffs. A lot of pressure in this Michigan team. They know they have a chance to win a national title, but they have to go through Cascade Valley first. The three-peat team trying to make it a four-peat. But unlike Michigan, this, this is not going to get rescinded. They happen to mess up. What an interception. Are you kidding me? Reed back under center here. The squad absolutely vibing. Throws an absolute beautiful ball to Joe McBride for another big catch. You're seeing the maturation from Reed right now. Again, the best quarterback in Cascade Valley history. Throwing an absolute beautiful ball to make sure that McBride got it and the linebacker couldn't touch it. Second and seven here, sitting on a shotgun. Reed scrambling around, throws one, and it's a Jeremiah Butler for a two touchdown lead now. As you saw in that previous play, Tyro Brown, or excuse me, Taylor Reed is setting record after record. And there are his own records that he's breaking right now, getting the most passing yards in school history after another beautiful pass there. And oh my God, Owens is looking like T.O. out here with a huge run for Michigan down the field. Michigan was still a little dreary, but now they got a good opportunity here going for a big run. DJ Byers and Gambling are not letting Harrison and Benda go anywhere. Keeping the pressure on. Craig's going to throw one. He's got an absolute wide open Walker. We're going to try to bring him down, and we do it the one, but Walker gets him all the most into the end zone. Right now, Michigan feels pretty good. They've got an opportunity. They're trying to strike. We send the pressure. Craig gets his second completed pass of the game. This one, though, was going to be brought down for a loss of one. Second goal, Cascade Valley trying to make a nice goal line stand here. He gets to Benda, and Dono Gamble is able to get to him after a big hit in the backfield. Cascade Valley obviously pretty hyped right now. Trying their best to then get to the running back. And a force Sharpie is going to get in there in a three-yard touchdown run to cut this lead in half. A second and one action here. Not a lot to love. Reed's going to haul back and throw one in. Olak is right there. I thought it was Clark. He's going to hold that one in. Our guys are going to bring them down. And Michigan all of a sudden is back in scoring territory. And Reed can't believe it. Third and 12. They slide a tight end over in motion again. we got to be a little careful here. An absolute beautiful ball, and we force him out of bounds. Trent Anderson did not get the first down. Fourth and inches, Michigan's going to line up for a field goal. A great stop by Cascade Valley, giving a horrible field position for us, and then getting a stop to force a field goal. We'll take that every time. Reed has mostly looked good today, but that interception, kind of unforgivable. We got to make sure that he keeps the ball secure. Falcons probably go edge rusher, um, is what I imagine. Well, second and four, hitting with the Reed. Or hitting him with the uh, the play action. And Taylor Reed getting himself a first down and then some. Keeping it moving back here to the run game. It's important that we are loyal to the run game today. But it's also important that our guys block. Last play here, the first. Reed again finding the hottest target of the day. Joe McBride making NFL scouts drool right now. Second quarter kicking off. And we're going right back to what we've been doing. Running the ball with Tyro Brown. Johnson slides in motion here. A little play action. Reed again sees an opportunity. He says, if I like it, I'm going for it. Another first down on the ground for him. Cascade Valley in the red zone with an opportunity to cook and extend this lead yet again. Four point lead is solid, but it's not what we're looking for right now. Tyrell Brown, great run, nearly gets out to the edge, but eight more yards before he goes down. Second and short, Roderick Johnson, the touchdown. Vulture, they say he's in. He's been a while since he had a touchdown. He feels great to be back there. Craig finding a way to keep Michigan in this game right now. A throw to the man himself, Desmond Simmons, another interception. Desmond Simmons with an absolutely massive interception, extending the already incredible record he has here at Cascade Valley. This was the clubhouse leader and then some. Read out here again, hits him with a play action. Sees his guy deep, he throws one up. Jeremiah Butler has him by some steps and he's in there. Michigan had the ball, didn't really do much with it. So with an 18 point lead and four and a half minutes left here in the first half, Cascade Valley is out here trying to make more happen and Tyrell Brown continues to kill it. Reed again, sits here looking for something. Sees the guy down the sideline, he finds Michael Isaacs. Isaacs is trying to go all the way down and Michigan is getting cooked right now. After the last drive is lackluster, they come down the field and Michigan is now in field goal territory, trying to make something officially happen here. Crank throws another dot here. This time Anderson gets 17. Here we go again. Crank all the time in the world, no real pressure on throws a comeback route here. We're going to see them get down to the five. First and goal, Michigan looking for a run. They scored last time that way, and they're down to the one. It's in a tight end in motion, a little halfback toss here. Our guys trying to get to the edge. Reggie Kraft bumps on, but it's not going to be enough as Benda gets in the end zone yet again. 35-17 lead here in the first half. We've got an opportunity to put more points on the board, but we've got to strike fast. Reed. All day throws one. Carno Killens gets one, breaks the tackle. Only person in front of him that could possibly stop him is maybe. Never mind. That speed was not there. Say what you will about 
uh, Taylor Reed, but he's got four touchdown passes. One interception obviously does hurt us a little bit, but four touchdown passes in the first half of the college football championship or college football semifinal is incredible. Second and seven here. A lot of time. Doesn't like what he's seen. Comes back, throws one to Jay Bohm, who's going to fight for his bread and get the first. First half is winding down. Reed taking his time, throws one right off 54's chest. Second and goal, 35 on the clock. We don't want to give them too much time, so we're going to run one with Tyrell Brown down to about the two-yard line. Clock taken down here in third and goal. Little halfback toss, bro. Derek Johnson, not Tyrell Brown. We get his second rushing touchdown of the game. Trying our best to get a stop here in third and 10. What a stop by Desmond Simmons getting the deflection. All right, big fourth and 10 here. Casca Valley trying to stop a field goal, potentially, for Michigan. Michigan is trying to chip into that lead, which is already feeling pretty insurmountable. Kicking things off our first play here, the second half, and it goes for nothing. Second and 12, Carnell Killens getting him active here in the run game. He tries to turn up the field, only goes for one. Third down and 11, Reed knows he needs something here. Sees this guy, Jay Bohm, toe tapping the sideline for a big 18 yard grab. Jay Bohm slides in motion here, trying to fake a little jet sweep. Tyro Brown again, solid run, nothing crazy though. Second down, nine yards to go. Jay Boom is going to get his third grab of the game on a 23 yarder. Keeping this drive moving, Tyro Brown kind of stumbles around a little bit, runs into his own guys and goes nowhere. Reed under center, looking for something. Has one, and it's Jeremiah Butler who's going to be down at the six yard line after a hard hit from the safety. First and goal, Reed. Feeling the pressure, throws an absolute dot to Carnell Killens. Huge play here. Michigan knows they need something major. Dino gambling there. DJ Byer says that's mine. He's going to pick this one off, trying to get a little bit of a return, but he still gets some. Third down is short. Isaacs here in the backfield. An absolute beautiful ball thrown, but what a play by the safety. If it's a bullet pass, it's probably a touchdown. So the third quarter dwindles down. We're lined up for a field goal here. This one is up. It is absolutely good. That's why we got the best kicker in the nation, baby. Craig all the time in the world. Lopez trying to get to him, but what a dot thrown here to Walker. Craig again, looking for something. Beautiful ball here's Roma. What a way to knock that one loose. Craig by himself in the backfield. Overloading the pressure. He throws one away again. He's made some really poor decisions as of late. 30 seconds left in a dream. A ball thrown that maybe could have been intercepted, but Michigan lives a fight for another down. Michigan in just trying to make this respectable at this point. Our coverage kind of chalks at the moment and they get another first. Last play here, the third. Halfback screen dialed up. Beautiful play call. Our guys are all over the field, not where they should have been. Michigan looks to get something here, but what a tackle by Donnell Gambling. Our guys slide up to bring the pressure. Another run out of the backfield. This is a wild decision here by Michigan. Harrison Gabendis had a pretty solid game by most accounts, but he's only up to about single digit yardage. What a dot to Giovanni King. At this point of the game, our goal is just to run the score up a little bit. I mean, Michigan is a team that we obviously don't love. We play them a lot in our Big Ten matchups. We were over there for a while, but Tyro Brown says, hold on, I had 90 yards earlier. I'm going to go ahead and add a whole lot of yards to that. That's why he won the Heisman. Gambling having a game, eight tackles, three for a loss. I just feel bad for him, Benda. He's got like 10 or 11 rushes for like four yards. It has been <laughs> an afternoon for that dude. A ball thrown here to Savion Shelby. Everybody, I mean, we're open right now. You'll get a pick, you'll get a pick, you'll get a pick. When the last plays of the game is going to be Tyrell Brown taking the rock, getting in the end zone for another rushing touchdown. What an incredible season for him. And with that, Cascade Valley will move on to the college football national championship. Who will we play? Will it be Boise? Will it be USC? It don't matter who we play because we're coming out of there with that 4P, baby. Recapping the stats, Taylor Reed, 16 for 21, 380 yards passing, five touchdowns and one pick. A fantastic game for him. The interception was Lee Dudu, and he threw some others that were almost picked. But for the most part, he balled out. On the ground, though, Tyrell Brown, 28 for 215, two rushing touchdowns for Derrick Johnson, 42 and two touchdowns as well. And then the receiving side, Jay Bohm, four for 68. Killens had a touchdown on 72. Butler had two touchdowns on 77 yards. McBride had one, and Isaacs had one. This team is absolutely cooking this time of year. You love to see it. And then we move over to defense a little bit here. Donald Gamlin, eight tackles, three for a loss. Byers had a great game, especially in the first half. From a sack perspective, we had two. Odiari and Byers. Interceptions felt like Oprah today. You get one, Shelby. You get one, Simmons. You get one, Byers. You get one, Allen. These dudes came to play. If we can keep the same kind of magic going on in the national title, I don't care who we play. We're walking home with the fourth in a row, baby. We'll be seeing you. Be safe, be smart. Tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,